Okie doke. Hi! Logan is a 20-year-old Southern charmer from a little town outside Nashville who brings an unusual spirit to his dates. Hello. Hi there. Hi, I'm Logan. I am 20 years old, and I'm a medium. Well, I talk to dead people. Which side do you like? This side's fine. This side is yeah. fine. I feel like on a first date, I am loud and, and all this, and I'm trying to prove myself. When in reality, I should just go with it and be myself. It's just awkward for me sometimes. Logan's date is Jacob. Hi, I'm 24 now, and that's like 34 in gay years, so I kind of feel like the stress of needing to maybe find someone. In his job as a Chattanooga TV news producer, Jacob is someone who thinks that he has seen and heard it all. I don't trust people until I have a reason to trust them. So many gays are liars, like, it blows my mind, and I'm oddly good at like, find that. This is your date? I'm Logan. Hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck on your date. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Pleasure. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How old are you first? I'm 20. How old are you? I'm 24, so I take it you don't go out to the bars and stuff. No. Okay. No. Yeah, you're 24. You look so young. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do you mind if I drink? Not at all. Okay. okay. Cool. Fun. <laughs> You should have warned me. I am sorry. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess you're a student? No, I am a medium. A medium? A medium. That's interesting. When I was a kid, I would see spirits just like I would see somebody sitting in a room with me. It wasn't anything strange to me. It was just like a person I could sit and have a conversation with. I've definitely been on dates before, and the medium thing really freaked them out. So you're like, for real medium? It's not for like real. a show or anything? It's not like a show. It's like, for real. Like you predict or you? Like I talk to dead people. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What do you do? I'm a producer for a local news station. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. What are some of your most interesting medium experiences? Or is there, is there a medium patient confidentiality? <laughs> I'm not nervous. Why? I don't know, I just am. Nervous about the date or nervous about talking about your no, the mediumism? Day. What do you call the act of mediuming? Mediating? I'm gonna go give a reading. Okay. Yeah. I read people in like a totally different way. How's that? I like read them. What do you like mean? judging them? Like if you're reading someone, you're like judging them. <laughs> um. I gotta use that. Okay. I'll be right back. How's it going? I mean, it's going. He's kind of awkward. Just a little bit. Well, yeah, he's probably nervous. I literally can't think of anything to say. Well, just be yourself. Wow. Well, I love you. I love you, honey. Bye. Bye. So, are you close with your family? Yeah, we're close. Are you close with your parents? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. How does your being gay, like, reconcile? My mom has a hard time with it. They love me as their child, you know, so it's, they deal with it. Growing up gay in a small southern town can be challenging. Now, high school was hard. High school was really hard. The bullying in high school was, was the toughest for me. You know, you're like, what's wrong with me? But it just came the day where I had to say, this is who I am. If you don't like it, it's too bad. Okay, so let's go back to this medium thing. So, okay, what at what point were you like, I see dead people? Like, uh, I was young. Was it a simultaneous, I see dead people and I'm gay? Like, <laughs> have you seen anyone behind me yet? I knew you were gonna ask that question. I know, like, zone in, let's zone in here. I'm trying to zone focus. Zoning in, I'm zoned in. I'm on number three, I am so zoned in. Well, okay, so. Well, who's the older man? And he salutes me, which is my indication that he was in the military. My step-grandpa was into the military. I don't know if he was in the well, military. Well, that's okay. I mean, that, that, can, that can be however it is. Um, okay. Did he smoke? No. He was kind of distant, yes? Mm -hmm. did, did he know you were gay? Nope, probably not. Because he places you in a room and blacks out the rest of the room, which is my indication that it's almost like you 
felt alone in, in, a, in a sense. You felt like you were different from everybody. Um, and as you've gotten older, you've just kind of progressed that into your adulthood with sarcasm and the things like that. It's almost like you try to protect yourself from getting hurt. Well, I don't know, I've kind of always had this personality. Okay, well, did you have an aunt that has passed away, or? Um, okay, so, like, not to be rude, okay. but I feel like you say something really general, and then you build from there. I feel like if I told you I see an older woman, like, you'd be like, oh my god, that's my grandma. Like, you don't even have to make the connections. They make the connections. Can I get another one of these? Sure. Are you gonna get another? Oh, totally. A medium can have a bad day completely, yeah. but in a room full of people, it's so easy to misinterpret information that comes through. I'm just being honest. No, that's... I don't want to like, crush your world or whatever. Well... Oh, no. hey. Hey. So, moment of truth, would you like to see each other again? I don't think I would like to go on a second date with Jacob, no. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Hopefully there's a bathroom for those double and doors. And your napkin is... <laughs> you... were rude. Well, I'm sorry. I think I was pretty courteous about your relationship with the dead. See I'll see ya. See Bye -bye. ya. I take full responsibility for this date not working. And I feel bad that I didn't believe in what he was doing, but at the same time, it just felt like he was just grasping at nothing. 